Okay, here we go. I see a drain right here. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all see that? That was a crazy bite. First cast, too. Saw that drain, chucked that underspin right over there. He came out and clobbered it. Gonna go ahead and snap a quick pick. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram. I'll have that link right down below. And then also if you want to follow me on Fishbrain, that is going to be Goldilocks Fishing. Fishbrain's just like, it's like fishing Instagram basically. So fishing's your thing. Check me out over there. I'm going to go ahead and send this guy back, right back where we caught him in that drain. There he goes. All right, so I didn't even get to film an intro yet, but it's New Year's Day. That was the first bass of 2022. And um, I'm just excited for this year. But yeah, we're fishing with underspins today. I got to get another swim bait here. I'll show you what we're using. I'm just throwing around some little Kai, oh, some little Kitex, four inch Kitex. And then I have, I don't know where I put it. It's with my rod up there, but I have a belly weighted underspin. And I haven't, I don't know if I put this in the title or not, but I've never caught fish on underspins. I have caught them on swim baits, but underspins, I haven't. So we're gonna give this a try. I already think it's gonna work. We've already caught one fish, first cast, but I won't keep talking. We'll go ahead and get into it. Gonna fish more parallel to the bank because they're up shallow. Whereas like if you're in really dead of winter, you're just casting out there at the deepest point in the pond. Unless you're in Florida and it's just warm. Okay, so it's 78 right now. It's gonna get 81, it says. Ooh, there he is. Oh my gosh, get the bait. They're short striking it so much. Like, look at this. He took the whole tail off my bait. Just crushed this thing. Imagine I just fish it like that. A little Ned spin. Let's see. Get the whole back end of my bait off. Oh my gosh, he ate it again. And now I don't even have a bait. They're dinks. That's what it is. They're dinks. I think what they're doing is they're just coming up and they're crushing this bait up shallow. They're sort of sitting like on this drop off. I mean, it's a super close. It's not far out. It's like right in front of me. And they're basically trapping those bait right up in the shallows. Feeding. So this understand is really a perfect imitation. Catch these aggressive old bass. Oh, there's a little top water eat over there. Oh, there's a fish. Dang it, I was gonna walk over there. Toss him back. There he goes. Oh, I gotta follow her. I gotta follow her. Where did the fish go, man? Because I haven't seen them in a bit. I don't think they're. Oh, there's a fish. I can't even finish the sentence out here without getting bit. There he is. And I lost my Kitek again. Dang it. Okay, buddy. These guys will get you. Gotta be careful with these little dudes. There he goes. Almost out of Kitex already. Yeah, I have one last Kitek. Oh, yeah. I have a follower right here. There's two followers right here. Oh, my gosh. He followed it all the way up. Little guy. Oh, man. He missed it. Just lost five bucks in a mere 20 minutes. I'm gonna stick with my Ray Trimmer. It's a little smaller. It's actually slightly downsizing. I feel like it's sort of upsizing though, just because it's so fat. It's a fat bait. I know these guys last longer too. Oh my gosh, I think it looks amazing. This bait's so fat. It's crazy. I can see it from a mile. Shimmering through the water. I'm definitely gonna catch a bigger fish with this. That's a fact. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I pass by you real quick? Yeah. Do you mind if I pass by you real quick? Yeah, come on. Hold on. I just found a good fish. She's literally chilling with the school. This is so confusing to me. This fish is being so weird. Ooh, right by your face, right by your face. How are you not interested? There's just like seven or eight males. One big female. So we're gonna pause right there for a minute. I'm gonna do a little voice over here just cause I'm looking kind of rough right now and I don't want to take too long while explaining this. But to go over what happened, there was like a seven or eight pound bass cruising around. And actually before the clip you saw a minute ago, I had been working this fish for like 15 or 20 minutes and she was sort of around two beds, but she never really truly showed one. So I would flip in my underspin. She didn't want that. So I switched up to a few creature baits. She wasn't interested. Like I'd flip my bait out there and she'd turn toward it and she'd swim at it, but then she'd disappear. She'd go out, 
deep and then she'd show up again. But at one point, she just sort of disappeared. And as I kept walking along, and I was actually going to leave, I was going to move on. That's why you saw me asking that guy if I could go ahead and pass him. And then I ran into her again. And this time, she was swimming with this school of probably one pounder. So there were small fish. And then there's just her, just an absolute giant. And it just, it kept confusing me. I threw in my bait. She was not interested. But I'm sure she will be in the spawn. I'm sure I can find her then. And I actually, later on in this video, I say, oh, I'll come out tomorrow. The next day, it was freezing. Like, it went from 80 degrees down to, like, 40 and 50. And while that's probably nothing, for any northerners watching this video, it's cold for Florida. So, it dropped. And actually, right now, it's, like, 40 degrees and raining. So, it's bad weather. It's kind of miserable. And I'm also sort of miserable myself. I actually have covid I have like the, I think it's Omicron. I'm okay. It's just like a cold, but I'm going to get over that. And hopefully this year is going to be a great one. I definitely think it will be. But thank you for making it this far. If you're enjoying, feel free to like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I make new uploads. But let's go ahead and get back in the video. Yeah, this is just a swim bait. Oh, you have one on too. Yeah, well, I've had better luck actually with these Gary Yamamoto green worms. Oh, yeah. But I'm out of them, so I thought it looked like you were doing all right with it. <laughs> yeah, they cost a good bit, too. I really like the Yamamoto's. I had one, and I just kind of played them a little bit and didn't pull them in right away. Mm -hmm. And I could see one about that big, really big, came after him. It's weird. I don't know. I've never really seen a fish do that. She looks fat, and she looks like she wants to spawn, so. Well, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you. Good luck. So I was not able to catch that big fish, but I'm going to come back tomorrow, probably, see if I can get her to eat figure out what bait she'll chomp. And he was saying that he caught a little one playing them and that big fish came in. Oh, giant carp was falling my bait. Never seen that. Like a 30 pound carp. Oh, big carp again. Oh, there he is. That feels good. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, bad. Real dark fish. Just stole that underspin. I think it's gone. That's one of the darkest bass I've ever caught. Gonna pop him off here real quick and send him back because I'm supposed to be home right now. He's ready? Yeah, he's going. There he goes. Yeah. 